Hello everyone. I welcome you here again. So today we have Mr. Mayank Ramani with us. So welcome, uh, Mayank. Thank you. Thank you for uh, the warm welcome. So uh, Mayank uh, is currently doing PhD in Computer Science from IIT Indore. So Mayank, you, uh, we want to know about your academic background first. Okay, so uh, I did my class 10th uh, uh, from Bhopal, Sagra Public School, Bhopal, uh, CPSC medium. Uh, after my class 10th, uh, I chose for PCM stream. And uh, so for in CBSE, you have to choose an optional subject. And that's where I encountered computer science as an optional subject. Uh, so we used to uh, learn C++ and object oriented programming. So that was my first stint, uh, formal stint with computer science. And uh, that what made up my prime my mind uh, to decide that I want to take uh, pursue computer science ahead. So after my 12th, uh, I did my graduation like BTEC from uh, Lakshmi Narayan College of Technology and Science uh, Bhopal under RGPV. Uh, so honestly, uh, it was just a, like, uh, it was just uh, the basic, like the very basic of computer science we learned. But then uh, after that, I realized that uh, this is something I want to pursue ahead. Uh, but at that time, I was not very sure that whether I want to go to academia, uh, like whether I want to pursue higher studies or whether I want to go to a job. Eventually, I got placed in Cognizant and I uh, uh, went there to just get a taste of the industry. Uh, I did, I was play like I was into manual testing, uh, which dis didn't excite me much. So I started preparing for gate examination. Uh, so I left Cognizant and uh, I prepared my gate exam uh, in 2017. Uh, got a decent scorecard uh, and uh, pursued my M Tech uh, from uh, GS Institute of Science and Technology in Uh And GS was the place where I actually uh, got the chance to study the subjects in depth. So uh, in BTEC, it was just like, like an overview of all the subjects uh, you, you explore. But then uh, after I did MTech, uh, I understood the research side of things as well. So for example, in MTech, you have to complete a research project under a guide. And uh, I was blessed enough to have a very understanding uh, good guide who uh, asked me to challenge myself. So be, uh, like in MTech, uh, like most people know, like machine learning is the area to go. And uh, I was also interested in machine learning, but my guide uh, asked me to apply machine learning in something uh, related to operating systems. So uh, in the course, first of learning what is currently the state of the art in research in operating systems, I got a chance to study operating systems, computer architecture, computer networking in, in depth. And uh, that is where I also learned, like, uh, learned the basic, like how to uh, like how, what are the various sim simulators you use? How, how do you find out, how do you read a paper? How do you read, uh, prepare a literature review? How do you prepare a, a research proposal? How do you write a paper? How do you write a thesis? How to use LaTeX, for example? So these were the nitty gritties I got introduced during my MTech, uh, which motivated me. Uh, so again, I was placed in Deloitte as a part of my, uh, like uh, in, in the campus placement. But then uh, I, I chose to pursue research instead. Uh, so for a meanwhile, uh, so that, that was the COVID time. Uh, time. So I was uh, not sure whether uh, I should apply right now for PhD or not, whether I am prepared or not. So for the meanwhile, I joined uh, Deloitte. And uh, meanwhile, I started, uh, you know, researching about PhD. Like, is it, is it like, I am interested, but I'm, am I interested enough to pursue a, a very rigorous course like PhD? So for those two years, uh, I worked as an academic associate in IIM Indore. And I uh, parallelly, I started applying to different, uh, I started exploring different research areas in computer science and uh, reading a little bit about all the areas and finding out which area would suit me better, like which, which is the area I want to work in and what are the different professors under uh, whose uh, research areas align with mine. And then I started applying to uh, for, the, for the PhDs. Uh, so, uh, how I came to IIT Indore, actually there was a, uh, uh, so all the IITs, they, uh, twice a year, they, uh, you know, advertise their requirements for PhD. So once you, uh, so there's a, there's a basic requirement that you should be a gate qualified candidate. If you are already done MTech, if you are pursuing MTech or a BTech, a uh, fresh BTech student, you should have a valid gate scorecard. If not, uh, any scorecard would do as far as it is a, like, uh, you are, you are above, above a cutoff for the scorecard. And uh, then uh, there's uh, there's a written round for most of the IITs and IIMs. 
there's a written round and after you clear the written round uh, you get shortlisted for the interview in interview they'll uh, primarily ask for your prior research work in mtech and uh, from the area in the which pro uh, professor is interested to get, uh, enroll someone into his research phd so uh, once the return is done, return is like uh, if you have prepared for gate uh, you are already prepared for all the written examination for most of the iits uh, they basically check your basic concepts. Once you are through written, uh, the interview uh, is a bit like it depends on which uh, guide is interested in taking a fellow under him or her and what are his research areas, whether your research areas align with his, him or her or not. So one point I would like to say is that uh, if you don't get through any, any of the interview, please don't get disappointed because sometimes it's not because of your candidature is weak. It's just because he's looking for someone else, someone with a different skill set that might suit his, her research project. So uh, that is one learning because I have tried uh, before IIT or I've tried a lot of other institutes as well. And uh, it comes to mind that whether I'm not, whether I'm good enough to pursue a PhD. So eventually I, uh, so uh, a lot of, a very few people know that um, in many of the IMs also, there's a research area known as information systems which primarily deals with machine learning and uh, data mining and all that into the uh, domain of management. So uh, for a technical guy, it is pretty much the similar kind of work uh, you will find in an IIT if you are from machine learning or uh, data science domain. So I had applied there as well. So uh, there was a time when I was not getting any selections, but then uh, I came to know that it, it completely depends on the guide, what he wants, whether your uh, skill sets align with his or her or not. Uh, so I got selected in IIM Raipur as well as IIT Indore. So I chose IIT Indore because I, I felt that uh, career-wise it would be a better move for me. Okay, that's wonderful. So uh, do you want to share about your campus life? You know, your uh, how many total scholars are there in your batch and total you know, institute and what is what do you do people uh, during your free time during Sunday, Sunday, uh, Saturday, Sundays or something. Do you want to share something? Yeah. So currently, uh, like it's been around three to four months I've joined. So there's a very rigorous coursework here in IIT Indore. Uh, so campus life is good. Campus is good. Uh, there's there's uh, like they have shifted to a new campus, like the permanent campus. So it is, uh, it's, it's been like, it's been a while uh, they have shifted to the campus, but then uh, IIT's uh, campuses take time to get completely built, but still you'll find uh, it, it is pretty much like uh, good for, uh, you know, to, to live here. Uh, the hostels are great. Mess is okay. So messes are, mess are <laughs> never great in any of the ITs, but still uh, going by the uh, normal standard, uh, the mess is pretty much okay. Uh, there's a good health center. Uh, there are uh, recreational activities like uh, gym and all that. Uh, so campus life is pretty, uh, what you might expect from an IIT. Uh, but as a PhD student, uh, I would say you rarely get time to enjoy that much the campus life because uh, coursework is quite rigorous, to be honest. Uh, so most of the time, uh, uh, for example, you mentioned about weekends. So most of the weekends, you are either already loaded with the uh, like with assignments to complete and deadlines to meet. But still, uh, you like in the campus, you get time uh, with friends. You can like uh, enjoy. You can roam around the campus. So uh, for a P for a PhD, that is the that is the best like that is recreation. <laughs> you cannot think about anything else as of now. Uh, so one thing is that you you need to be pretty sure with uh, what you are getting into because PhDs are rigorous. Even if it is uh, an IIT or IIM or whatever, what are, what you are into, you should be prepared mentally prepared to uh, face uh, stringent deadlines, uh, lots of assignments. But then. Uh, Take it as a learning opportunity because once uh, the coursework completes, you are on your own into the research journey and whatever you learn will uh, create a foundation for uh, uh, what you are uh, doing after the coursework. Okay. So usually uh, what is the trend there? Uh, once somebody completes PhD, are they preferring to go for academics or are they preferring to join an organization as a researcher or something? What is the trend there? Okay, uh, so as far as I know from our department, computer science, most of them prefer to go into academia. So many of them who join uh, 
pre have predefined uh, determined that uh, they are joining because they want to go into academia uh, so being from an iit uh, you get an iit tag uh, that will lead you to good private college good academic uh, positions in private colleges as well as government colleges uh, having said that there are people uh, who enter into uh, like specifically from uh, there are people from machine learning uh, who also bag uh, research positions in some uh, good private organizations so i think one of one of our seniors just got placed into some good company uh, and he wishes to pursue research uh, like uh, pursue that uh, job as a researcher for quite some time uh, but he might plan to switch to academia so it's like it depends on you uh, being an iit you have open options you can either go into academia which is the most preferred option here in iit indore uh, next is you still get uh, uh, jobs for research uh, like research based uh, you know research project based jobs in uh, research labs and uh, thirdly you can also go for post doc uh, which many of uh, my seniors have opted for like uh, post doc is also so if you want to get uh, into back, better colleges in academia post doc is the way to go like people prefer doing post doc from preferably for a, uh, from a foreign university and uh, gather some more research experience in their own field before they start to apply for other iits or nits in india or abroad uh, and uh, apart from that there is also like uh, the good thing about iits is uh, for the campus placements many companies uh, are open for all open for all as in they are open for btech mtech ms research and phd as well so if uh, somewhere down the line you think uh, that you go want uh, you want to go to industry as a hardcore developer you can also opt for that option so one company i can think of is like i think accenture japan has come uh, come recently which allowed all the like all the guys including the phd guys so it completely depends on you uh, being into iit opens a lot of options for you it's for you to decide based on uh, what interests you okay uh, so I going with the so trend mostly are yeah yeah mostly are into academics uh, i would say okay. and uh, yeah. okay thank you man for sharing your experience with us is there anything else last word you want to share with all the viewers yeah one thing i'll want to share uh, there are two aspects of the phd journey once when you decide where you want to do a phd and you start applying to colleges so that is a hard part because uh, many a times people uh, apply to let's say five universities 10 universities and they don't get through please don't get disappointed because i have been through that uh, it does not mean that you are not enough for a university it completely completely depends on what Uh, which uh, guide you are applying under what he or she wants uh, like what is the skill set uh, skill set they desire for their project and whether you meet their criteria so for example if you if you know very well about machine learning uh, but they are into a project which uses machine learning into say let's say networking so they would also require you to know, uh, know a bit about the networking part so if you are not good in networking that does not mean that you are not eligible to apply for any other college if they receive uh, so one thing is that uh, please uh, understand that some many a times uh, i am not saying uh, don't prepare well many a times it's just uh, how, where you are applying to and what the skill set they want it might not align with that does not mean you are unfit for phd so don't lose hope there the second is uh, during the journey of phd so i have seen a uh, uh, lot of people uh, who were very enthusiastic during the first and second year uh, but then they uh, instantly lose hope uh, because the journey is very rigorous so uh, what i have felt from my mtech journey as well uh, so my journey mtech journey was also a rocky road it was not a very smooth road with my guide but what i understood during the process is uh, whatever you do even if you are not able to uh, do something you are you are expected to do uh, please keep the communication uh, you know keep an open communication with your guide let him know that you are trying even if you are not able to do it uh what i felt in, in uh, from personal experiences uh though guides uh, like uh, research guides want you to do something they expect you to do something but then just because you don't do it they'll not uh, you know uh, they'll not uh, write write you off in in their bad books just because you could not do anything but the uh, condition is you have to be very open you have to show your that you are trying 
Yes. And uh, once they understand that you are sincere enough to try, but you are genuinely not able to, uh, you know, match up to their expectations, uh, believe me, they'll offer their helping hand on their own. Like, you not even have to ask it. So, uh, in the end, I would like to just summarize that uh, research is a very rigorous journey. Uh, be mentally prepared and uh, believe in yourself because, uh, you know, initially the coursework is like very hunky dory phase. Like, yeah, yeah, everybody is doing coursework. We'll also get through. But the real journey starts after the coursework and that's when uh, you have to, you know, uh, tap into your own self-confidence, self-belief uh, that you can do it. If you have come so far, you'll, you'll, uh, you'll be able to do uh, the road ahead, I think. Yeah. Thank you so much, man, for sharing your learning, experience and time with us. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. My, my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.